Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Smells Like. I'm Josh. So good to see you. And today I am reviewing uh, what has become a little bit of a summer staple for me uh, from Dolce & Gabbana. This is Light Blue Intense. Pour on. This is the Eau de Parfum concentration, uh, a more intense version of the original uh, light blue for men from Dolce & Gabbana. Uh, really a, a legend in the men's designer game in my opinion. Uh, it really stands up there with fragrances like Aqua de Jo just in terms of being uh, you know, super mass appealing, a bestseller fragrance that you know, so many other fragrances have been patterned after again and again and again, uh, whether you like that or not. Um, something to be said for fragrances like that. And the perfumer for this one is the master of the aquatic fragrance, really uh, the one who blazed that trail in the first place and continues to make uh, great fresh summer aquatic fragrances, Alberto Marias. Uh, he has created such fragrances as Aqua de Jo, uh, CK1, Tommy, I mean this guy, you know, single-handedly perfumed my entire teenage years with CK1, Tommy, and Aqua de Jo. Uh, you know, he also created the original Light Blue. Let's see, he created uh, Mugler Cologne, another great fresh designer cologne. Uh, Versace Pour Homme, which is another favorite of mine. Uh, just great, fresh, um, invigorating aquatic type colognes. Light blue intense, uh, let's talk about the notes. Uh, in the top we have mandarin uh, and frozen grapefruit. Um, talk about that in a second. Uh, in the mid we have uh, juniper uh, and a salty marina cord. In the base we have amberwood and musk. And this one is all about um, this super bracing, cooling grapefruit note in the opening. And I think that that's why they listed it as frozen grapefruit, right? Because they've taken a grapefruit note um, and they've added something that, not like a menthol or anything, but something cooling. There's something about it that has a cooling effect when you have it on the skin and even when you smell it, almost like a vapor mentholated, uh, it doesn't smell like menthol, but almost like a mentholated feeling when you smell it. Along with that uh, really tart grapefruit, there's some sweetness from the mandarin orange. Um, and then as it begins to dry down, uh, you really get into this aquatic accord, which is really the base of the whole thing. This is all about just like an oceanic fragrance. It's got this sort of salty aquatic accord. Um, it's really, you know, it's quite pleasing. It, it isn't anything we haven't smelled before. Um, but I think where this one is a slightly unique and actually has a little bit of heart uh, is that it also has juniper. And uh, juniper berries probably. Um, juniper is what's listed, but juniper berries are used uh, in making gin and they give it that like herbal, interesting smell. And um, this definitely has like an interesting herbal nuance to it along with that, you know, just straight aquatic uh, citrus thing going on. Um, there's some woods in the base, a little bit of an amber cord to give it, give it some substance. And then this great, um, and then a great clean musk as well. Um, so this was pretty straightforward, you know. Uh, you know, niche lovers, this one might not be for you. Uh, people that don't like aquatic fragrances or, you know, mass pleasing designer fragrances, uh, you know, this one might not be for you. This has almost been like a guilty pleasure for me this summer. Uh, on the hot days, especially um, after I've been at the pool, um, swimming, you know, coming out of the pool and wanting to extend that invigorating, refreshing feeling. Um, I put this one on right after that and it's it's great for especially after the sun as well. Maybe your, your body's kind of heated up from being in the sun and you want to just have a nice, refreshing, easy fragrance to wear for the rest of, you know, maybe the rest of the evening. Uh, and this really does that job well. I even uh, put some of this in a decant that I keep in the refrigerator uh, to make it even more cooling when I, when I put it on. It's really enjoyable for that. Um, I get a lot of compliments with this one. Um, this 
may be my most complimented summer fragrance, um, partly because I've worn it quite a bit, um, but also it, it just gets noticed and it is just so mass appealing. It, it, there's nothing really not to like about this one for your average person, you know, smelling it on me. Um, projection is decent. Uh, I would say two or three hours worth of decent projection, uh, especially in the first two, you're really, you, people are really smelling you a lot. Um, and this one doesn't really get cloying, so I use a lot of it. Uh, really just get that invigorating, refreshed feeling. Um, longevity with this one, they've improved on the longevity from the original, which is maybe, for me, below average. Um, this one is average to above average, so not a huge increase from the original, but definitely a noticeable one. Um, and, you know, for a summer fresh citrus aquatic, this has all the longevity that I need. Um, seven, eight hours of longevity, you know, that's, that's really all I'm wanting from something that, you know, I'm just throwing on after a swim, uh, after being in the sun, and just, you know, wanting to relax the rest of the evening, maybe to go to dinner somewhere, just something really casual and easy. Um, I tend to wear this one when I'm literally wearing a swimsuit and a t-shirt and sunglasses and flip-flops. This, you know, this is a summer, easy going fragrance, easy to wear. Uh, we're in the dog days of summer right now and, you know, this one just really fits that easy going feeling. It's, it's really too hot to wear much in terms of a fragrance. Um, too hot to wear much in terms of clothes or fragrance and so, you know, you're wearing the least amount of clothes possible and you really don't want to go too much with fragrance either and so this is one that really fits. Um, this time of year and that feeling and also it really just it makes me feel easygoing it makes me feel uh, calm and cool and even sexy um, this one there's there's a musk in this and, and, and again with that juniper that it kind of makes this one a little bit sexy definitely cool you know uh, cooling and also cool um, not the most refined or anything like that, like I said, just a really easy going fragrance. And I'll be enjoying this one here for, you know, the rest of the summer, um, you know, as we get into the end of summer and start looking at fragrances for this fall. Uh, I'm kind of I'm kind of hanging on to this one. I, th I think that uh, this is one that I'll have some good memories from this summer with, uh, just because I, I wore it, this was kind of my everyday you know, if I had a signature scent, that kind of made this my signature scent for this summer. And uh, so, you know, I'll have all the good memories that I had this summer of just hanging out at the pool and, uh, you know, being with family and just enjoying the easygoing, uh, hot, uh, sunny summer days. Pricing for this one, uh, this is the 100 ml bottle. Uh, this one retails for $88. And then the uh, smaller 50 ml size is $68 retail. Uh, you're gonna find this one everywhere the designer fragrances are sold. Sephora, Macy's, Dillard's, uh, Nordstrom, you know, they've, they've all got this one. Uh, since this did just come out in 2017, uh, not super discounted yet. Um, this size may be like in the $60 range. I think I paid like 65 bucks for this one online. So, you know, retail's 88, so that's, that's still, you know, less than retail online. Um, and like I said, just, it's just kind of a, a bright, uh, almost like a sparkling, cooling aquatic fragrance uh, for summer. Uh, that's almost been kind of like my guilty pleasure. Uh, this summer. So let me know in the comments if you've tried Light Blue Intense, uh, have you tried the original, uh, some of the other flankers maybe. What's your favorite from the Light Blue range? Let me know in the comments what your main fragrance has been this summer that when you look back on this summer is really the one that you're going to remember the most. Uh, for me it was this one. Uh, let me know what you've been wearing the most this summer uh, down in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to do it again sometime maybe, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so that you can get in on uh, all the videos that I post. Uh, so that's all for me. Thanks so much for watching.